Aries Singles, welcome to your mid-November singles read. Call it Meet the Soulmate, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot. If you give a darn here. And um, <clears throat> that's an eight-card read. And uh, look at the uh, four different aspects of a relationship to kind of get a reading on them with two cards each. Emotional, intellectual, sexual love nature, and I call it core values. And, um, you know, life needs and life traditions, life values. So, um, this is a predictive read. Usually, I don't see this as someone that's around you right now. I do see this as kind of a bit of a gift because it's for someone who's really single. Single's like you've cleared the runway and it's absolutely wide open. And that soulmate's been circling, waiting, comes in. Uh, because this is simply asking who is the right one for you? Who is your soulmate? So it's really an always positive read. It should be a triggery read. The three of uh, swords pops out. No one's getting broke up with in this reading. This is all uh, asking spirit to simply describe your soulmate. The one that's right for you. Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I did shuffle before the reading. So... Two of Pentacles. This is in their emotional position. Conscious and Five of Pentacles in the emotional position. I do read the top kind of as conscious. The bottom is less conscious, unconscious. Here, this is emotional. I do look for the moon. This got Virgo moons uh, all over it uh, because they want to keep balance. You know, with the two Pentacles, it's almost like that is a mem. Ergo Nightmare, and the uh, picture is a jar, you know. Um, so the moon's where we need to feel secure, where we want to feel safe, and um, we kind of instinctively know that's the part of us that's the, the most vulnerable is our moon. And, you know, a Virgo moon wants to understand, you know, wants things to be right, wants... Uh, you know, um, you know, they, it, where you could literally have trouble going to sleep because something's not finished, or you know you didn't do it right. Um, that kind of energy. Um, and it is, though, earth energy, and it is mutable. Uh, so I think, like, with the Virgo moon, to me, it's like a little bit like a compass. Uh, you know, uh, it's always trying to keep that balance. Uh, I wonder if there's any association with, like, a, balance in Virgo. Yeah, as I could see that. Um, but with the Five of Pentacles here, and you can see, um, you're definitely dealing with lack mentality. I said this is your person, and say they were perfect, and this is reading their history, their childhood now. They're an adult, we'll see. But many of us were not dealt a good hand when it comes to ch childhoods. It's almost like when I see a good childhood, that in itself become something to identify this person um, but so already I kind of tell uh, likely this person's going to be someone who listens and they remember details um, you know you'll talk for a long time and uh, they'll listen and when they do respond they'll remember names that you gave dates uh, significant details um, they'll probably make you feel really listened to you know, in their childhood, they just weren't properly taken care of. They weren't appreciated, you know. Um, I'm not sure how bad that was. It's bad enough in there. Um, you know, mom, dad, they weren't uh, available. Uh, with pinnacles, pretty serious. Um, can be also kind of the energy of abandonment. Could have abandonment issues from mom and or dad, you know. Um, Let's see how they're doing in their intellectual position, guys. My goodness, so the Nine of Swords, and the intellectual, and the Hermit. Okay, now we get somewhere with the Hermit. This is in the intellectual position. We'll typically see the sun um, here. The Nine of Swords over the Hermit. So I think you would say about this person that they're an old soul. Um, 
In some way, they may have uh, suffered well. I don't know how to put it other than that. I have a cancer moon. I have a theory. I think you kind of suffer a little more as a child in these situations. But this person has a way of like uh, self-soothing. Um, and um, they very well know what to do. Uh, and I'm not saying they're selfish at all because they're, they're not. It's probably like a humble energy. But um, they, they know what to do to take care of themselves, to keep themselves balanced. They're very in touch like with their body. You know, um, this may be how, how they've learned to cope. And with the hermit down here, you know, I dearly do, I dearly do want to read a Mercury, uh, Virgo, uh, Mercury and Virgo here to go with this moon. But I believe that would make them a Libra personality, Libra sun. I know for Nine of Swords. But one thing that uh, the, I have to reverse them to show, the Hermit is looking at the Five of Pentacles with shining his light on that. So one story that this person will tell you, I think we can count on, and they're, they're your soulmate, you'll tell each other your stories. I don't think this is uh, someone who holds their stories tight. Um, they are relationship oriented, so uh, they're a person who will, like say, tend to listen more than talk. Um, when they do talk, it's gonna be with something pointed to say. And they spent some period of time, like basically healing their own, call it lack mentality with this Five of Pentacles. You know, I see the hermit here, he's almost like over blessing it with like an angel or something here this five of pentacles so virgo moon a libra sun and a virgo mercury here this person starting to take shape i think they're very spiritual i think they they really learned a lot from their past. They really healed their childhood, this person. Um, in some way, I think it could be said like they mastered that. In the Libra energy, it does, it does feel kind of tortured here. You know, it could be that their son is challenged by Pluto, square to Pluto, God forbid, opposition to Pluto, possibly even a conjunction to Pluto. I would look for that. That's what these, we see these angels, well, these demons. So it's something that kind of haunts, haunts one their whole life, it, it, but they see it as kind of motivational. They could have a theme of the light against the dark, like they could say something like, I am a light worker, I, I follow the light, uh, or uh, they pray, they may pray to the light. And there's, this hermit is shining its light here. You got the very similar colors behind the hermit as you do on the Nine of Swords. And that's the hermit just shining its light on that on the darkness. So that's like maybe this person, they maybe say to you, uh, all I can do is, is light up the area around me. You know, be my own light. You know? this kind of energy and here comes Aquarius which is the star uh, this is in their sexual love nature um, very interesting and over the nine of cups let me look at their core values and lifestyle energy the four of swords Aries over the five of swords whoa Uh, I get that they they carved a path for themselves. Uh, what what they got in life was hard won. They'll say if they tell you this, have some understanding. Um, like no one gave them anything. They didn't get a scholarship. They didn't get love. They didn't get support uh, of any kind. Uh, this hermit here too may speak of. Um, 
uh, someone who's um, self-educated, you know, autodidactic for life energy. Um, so they may have a wide range of knowledge here, Aries, this person for you. Libra Sun now, Mercury in Virgo, Virgo Moon. We're turning to the Venus, and I, here I'm going to see um, not like a Cancer Mars here, not like a Libra Venus. So that gives us quite a bit of uh, energy. Uh, we don't know the rising, but Earth, Moon, Cardinal Air, Mars. Mars is not great in um, Cancer, but it will definitely care. This care all hell, and this will be in a very strong sexual position. I think this is like the best of Venus and Scorpio, but I take a Mars and, and a Cancer day in, day in and day out. Um, if you notice, there's not any uh, cups here. Uh, and then when they get to love, they got the stars. So this person is going to manifest. They're going to talk about manifesting. I mean, I, I, they do whether they talk about it or not, but I'm guessing that they're going to talk about it. This person um, is going to be, you know, part of their valley wick. Uh, and not just love, not just love, but where they really show their vulnerability is going to be sexually, and they are going to be really great at sex, and this is the energy, um, they need sex, like their body really needs sex, and they just don't want sex with anybody, with the star and the nine of cups, <laughs> no, it's like they have this emotional ability with the nine of cups, you know, they could just be single if they wanted to. I don't think this is someone that would going to have a hu huge amount of partners in their life because they probably prefer to stay celibate if they're not in some kind of relationship, I'm guessing, okay? So they'd be a little careful who they give their energy to. And in terms of relationship and sex, really, you're going to be incredibly... I mean, I got to say submissive, I got to say loving, uh, relationship oriented, and they're going to be all about you. What do you need? What do you want? How can I take care of you? And I got a Virgo moon to boot. Because a lot of times the Virgo moon is caretaking because it just always wants to do something. So if it sees an emotion, it's going to try to do something about it. So, And your person here, you know, they may struggle with lifelong kind of a depression and uh, stuff like this, uh, they're, they're an extreme empath, um, wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of light worker or something, you know, um, and you may see them in terms of their home being guarded, not wanting a lot of, a, not wanting an open home, a busy home, uh, wanting it in some way kind of a, a guarded and peaceful and they have to do something in communication for a living. Um, they must uh, write or uh, they're a therapist. They do talk therapy um, in some other way. Um, they speak and sort of advocate uh, maybe for those that don't have a voice, uh, for children, for animals, for something, this person. And so whatever they do, it'll be painful for them to do it. That's the story they will tell. It might be hard to understand. Well, why do you do it if it's painful? It's what they feel like they have to do. And they do it for something, someone else, um, that can't do it for themselves. So I hope that helps identify this person. It's uh, meant to be a purely predictive read. So get back to me in the mid-November time frame as you meet this person and let me know that this has happened. I would really appreciate it. Um, and give me a like, a thumbs up. Comments are really welcome, helps the channel. And I uh, wouldn't mind if you subscribe. I want to get to a thousand so I can start doing some of these live. And do check out the Soul Family Read. 
that's a daily read. Okay, it's up uh, for today. Uh, Mondays always Aries and Taurus day here, and so family reads. So collect the read for whoever resonates. So check it out to get a minute. See if you uh, resonate with that. It's more spirituality, manifestation, love, relationship, and purely uh, having to do with uh, romance here. Thank you, guys.